Hello, my name's Sally Randalls and I'm a Senior Research Fellow here at the Institute of Innovation Research at the Business School at the University of Manchester. I'm joined here today by Nick Bishop, who's Hi, a Sally. freelance consultant working on corporate social responsibility and responsibility in all kinds of social and commercial areas. Nick, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Um, well, I've been working for myself for 10 years and the name of my business is, as I am, is Nick Bishop Solutions. Um, Ten years ago, I left the Bank of Scotland where I had quite a senior role managing a, a large team at one point of up to 200, 250 people. But I lost my job, I got made redundant, and it gave me that chance to think about what I really wanted to do. And I stopped enjoying working at the bank, if the truth be known. I was probably not brave enough to leave off my own back, it's a big decision to make, but redundancy gave me that chance. And what I loved doing was managing people, working with people, um, inspiring people, motivating people, and that gave me the chance to work on my own and set up Nick Bishop Solutions. That's my name now. I had a limited company for eight years, but I changed to be a one-man band simply because of strategic relationships I ended up making with third parties through networks, and it allows me now to have more of a portfolio career. So some of the bigger contracts I've run, um, 100 days with the National Health Service in terms of leadership development, um, close to two years in Botswana with the government developing a major outsource project, but what I've enjoyed particularly, apart from the odd days here and there, is connecting my relationships in sports, which I'm passionate about, I'm a very passionate club runner, and business. So for example, um, I reconnected with a guy called um, Dave Turnbull, probably two or three years ago, and I used to run against Dave Turnbull in the 1970s. He's now coaching elite athletes, and we had a conversation. And through that, I did a workshop with England Athletics, now, Dave also has a relationship with a guy called um, uh, Barry Fudge, who is Mo Farah's physiologist. And it gave me a chance to be trackside with Barry when he's doing blood tests, VO2 max testing with athletes. And again, just through relationships that I've known, my opportunity is not just through business, but through sport as well. I've had the opportunity to work in professional football for a short time as well. Um, understanding and demonstrating that the people skills to manage in football are no different to business and vice versa. So another example, the England Athletics Workshop was very much around how coaches coach. I wasn't there to tell them how a coach coach an athlete, but I'm there to tell them how a coach gets a message through to people very succinctly in a way they understand and want to go and deliver something. Um, I've done some smaller amounts of refereeing in amateur football. But again, through that, I met a guy who was a premiership linesman and ended up being um, a linesman at the cup final in Wembley. But he came in to deliver a talk for me to workshop. But that kind of connections through business, through sport, has all gave me opportunity to have almost like a portfolio career through strategic alliances. And it led me to um, writing my ebook, which is on my website, Nick Bishop Solutions, called My Best Version of Me. And it's a collection of short stories and they're very realistic about examples I've seen in life that people can relate to. And often we think, yes, I should do more of that. So a lot of what I do is about speaking at events, about facilitating workshops, about making people realise that if they really want to do something, they have that opportunity. But too often we, we pass the opportunity and let it go by. And you've done a lot on leadership and motivation. How does that connect with the kind of social responsibilities and the commercial responsibilities that the business brings together? Well, one piece of work I did was with a company called Ants Junction. They're part of the Greater Manchester Chamber of Commerce. And Ants' model is to grow and give back. So they look for companies to grow sustainably and ethically. And what I did with Ants was bring together businesses, and two of the ones that I uh, worked with were BT and Merit Group of Hotels. And the model they have is they have a networking group which is made up of corporate businesses and collectively they help each other to grow but then give back to charity. So what they do, they provide opportunities for disadvantaged people, um, ex-offenders and such like. But it's that classic model too where they have staff engagement and allow their own staff to self-develop by going out into the community to help the charity too. Can you think of any other business models or examples or illustrations of how you uh, relationship build and bring these networks together? Well, very much so. So through my running in athletics, I'm uh, very heavily involved in the Wilmslow Half Marathon. I should, for the sake of our sponsors, call out the Waters Wilmslow Half Marathon, really. Um, but that's, that's the point. We have a major, major sponsor in Waters, big global company. We have the Christie Foundation as our adopted charity this year. 
We have 5,300 runners that come to town on the day and it swells Wilmslow to 10,000 people on the day. So when you consider that, we bring together corporate, sponsor, um, we bring together marshals, the people at race, and collectively it becomes a big picture model really. So what do you think are the skills and competencies that someone doing your kind of role needs to, to pull these projects off? Self-belief, because it's only you. If you. It'll soon come through if you don't believe in yourself. Drive and ambition. Um, an eye for opportunity as well, because I am not Marks and Spencer's brand, so I have to go out and look for opportunities myself. And they manifest themselves in many ways, through conversation, through meeting, through the media, you'll find out about things that are happening too. Um, I think the speed of flexibility to turn things around as well. And a good example of that, I was asked to tender for some work in Islamabad in Pakistan recently. And I had to turn that around in three or four hours, which was doable because I had some existing content. So it's kind of just adopting and changing. But had I been a big corporate, it would have been far, far more difficult. It could have taken days or even weeks knowing some corporates where it's a team that has to meet and put something together. Um, so speed to change and I think strong interpersonal skills because you've got to get your USP across to people very quickly in a way they understand and they buy into you. Nick, that's really interesting. So the, for the people watching this interview that might be wanting to get into the kind of role that you've been doing for the last 10 years, what do you think they should be doing to develop those relationships or to, to create the business models that you're talking about? I think one of the things is um, be aware of the people around you that you know because everyone will know someone and it's amazing what help you'll get if you actually ask. Pe people like to help basically and a lot of people um, are almost afraid of asking for help from other people. I think that's one point. Um, another point is don't underestimate the knowledge that you have. People sometimes are very dismissive of what they've actually got, what they've learned, what they've um, put together up here. And it's something that's very saleable if they have the right commodity. And in terms of belief, an example I would give you, I went to the workshop with a school and it was about belief and self-confidence. And the teacher said to me that the little girl at the back wouldn't be particularly good that day. She was um, slow. She was um, certainly the, the, dare I say, the, the weakest member of the class. And I asked the group actually, what was the biggest single achievement they'd ever um, made in their life? And these were only 16 year old school children and they all came forward except this one girl. So I went to ask her, what had she achieved in life? What was she proud of? She said, nothing very much, but once I actually coached my mum off drugs and alcohol abuse, my God, she didn't actually think that was significant. So my point is, we all have something we're good at, we've done, but we underestimate our own values. So be passionately um, optimistic about what you can deliver, find the right networks, find the right connections, and ask for help as well. Uh, Someone will know someone. I know you work at Company X. Is there any ch way you could perhaps give me a chance to speak to someone? Ask them, because growing that network will be fundamental to your business. That's brilliant. Thank you very much, Nick. Absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me, Sally.